In the small town of Owenton, Kentucky, surrounded by rolling hills for miles, deer hunting and being outdoors is a way of life. Definitely lots of outdoors activities. Our woods are very well traveled, which is why it was sort of like, where did this monkey come from? Um, because nobody had seen him before. Audrey Lewis's grandfather says he first saw the monkey on Sunday on his back deck. We thought he was joking with us, something. But as they soon realized, Look at him. he wasn't. Hi, buddy. They started to feed it, leaving food on the deck and in the cage to make it easier to transport to a safer place. Here. In a short time, you want to tell everybody hi? It clung to Audrey. We were pals. <laughs> he was my friend. Wanting her to stay outside and play. Can you tell everybody hi? He would climb on me. He was picking stuff off my sleeves and like playing, um, playing with my jeans. He was he was super, super friendly. In the state of Kentucky, it's illegal to have a primate as a pet. Which begged the question again, where did this monkey come from? Why is he here? This capuchin monkey had a collar on. So was it someone's pet? That's what the Department of Fish and Wildlife is trying to figure out. We don't know how the how the animal got to this home on in Owen County. Uh, they're looking into who might have owned it, uh, where it might have come from. These are all things that all information that that our officers officers are interested in. Now this monkey, which is only about a year old, is at the Primate Rescue Center in Nicholasville. So important and so vital for them to stay with their mothers and be where they're supposed to be. And as much as we might want to or think that they're adorable, in the end, it's just not actually what's best for them. Eileen Delaire says they'll care for this monkey for life. She's a little bit skinny, so um, you know our focus is is all about her. You know, it's not it's not about anything other than what she needs and what's best for her. In Owenton, Kentucky, Taylor Durden, Wave Three News.